Welcome to MFAA On Air. A four-year study into the planning practices of small businesses has painted a dire picture. Baby boomers are particularly in need of devoting time to succession planning, with just 18.5% having a plan in place. The risks associated with failing to have an exit strategy include losing out on the value that you have generated, as well as risking your clients either being left high and dry at the closure of the business or feeling as though they have been left high and dry when change is not managed. According to the research participants, a lack of planning risks disrupting family harmony in family-owned businesses. Nancy Youssef is a credit advisor and MFAA certified mentor who currently has more than 50 mentees. She helps her mentees to develop business plans that include and prepare for an exit strategy. Having an exit strategy in any business is important. Um, we're not immortal, um, we're not going to be here forever. And it's very, um, I think it's a crucial part of the business plan to understand where the business is actually heading, um, what the end goal is that helps goal setting, it helps develop a, a journey and a roadmap of, of what we're all trying to achieve within the team. Um, and it's good for a business owner to also understand that why are they doing what they do each day? What's their role? Um, when you work for somebody, obviously you've got a defined role. You kind of know you start off here and you work your way up through the ranks to a goal. Um, and it should be the same within your own business. Right now, most mortgage broking businesses, if they were to sell, uh, would sell for an annuity. Um, that at the moment is one and a half, maybe two times, between one and a half to two and a half times the trail, the, you know, the previous year's trail is generally how, um, uh, you know, the value of that business would be, would be calculated. When thinking about a succession plan from day one, you'd know that to get a higher multiplier, so, you know, you're three and a half, four, four and a half, you've got to implement things within the business such as a CRM. You've got to have documented policies and procedures. Um, you've also got to look at it and think, I'm not just selling an annuity, can I actually sell my business? And where you're going to get more value is to have support staff that can actually run your business or, or other staff that can run your business in your absence. Um, you're going to get more money, obviously, if the business is not, not reliant on you being there. From day one, we're not telling them to think about it as a one-person show. And I think changing that mindset has been very important in that you're coming in, yes, you are a one-person show for the next one or two years, but as your business grows, you need to start letting go of all that, what we call $25 an hour stuff, and be able to move forward in terms of growing your business solidly by implementing the right, the right tools. Increasing the value of your business is central to your succession planning. And the key to that is building a team that is stable and can keep running in your absence. The main steps have been that, yes, having a documented job description is very important because you want to put somebody on and understand what their role is going to be. Having the Cert Foreign Diploma I think is very important because it helps them understand the industry as a whole, although they're not ready at that point to write loans. It's more about understanding how this industry actually operates and I think those, um, that qualification certainly helps. From there, you know, uh, discussing a training and development plan with a career path. We had the client engagement process, so, you know, the milestones where um, they could start d dealing with the clients and having the clients start to call the office directly without speaking to me. Promotional ability, so being able to promote and, do, and, and conduct a lot of marketing um, on behalf of the business and currently also um, going through the process of being able to provide credit advice and then deciding whether or not that person is going to eventually have an equity stake within the business or you know, fitting their goals in with, with the vision for your, for your own business. I think it's also about creating a culture. That is really important. Um, you know, it, people want to go to work feeling like they are part of something, that they value what they do each day, they understand what you stand for. It's about having a common belief and understanding that we are all working to, towards a common goal. The MFAA Certified Mentors Program helps participants develop comprehensive business plans that include exit strategies. To find out more, visit the MFAA website. You've been watching MFAA on air.